Shipbuilder Bruno Baranowski is a busy man. The client buying the boat he and his team are working on has already set a date for a first inspection. Bruno and Baranowski works at the Gdansk shipyard, and times are tough. Brussels wants the shipyard to pay back billions worth of subsidies unless it is restructured, as had originally been promised. Morale is low. We feel very depressed. Decisions are being made about our future, and things don't look good. Here in the shipyards, we think that the Western Europeans are trying to think up new conditions for our continued operation. Because they want to get rid of unwelcomed competition. But the fact is that the shipyards in Gdansk, Chechin and Gdynia are no longer cost-effective. They've been posting losses ever since Poland joined the EU in 2004. Brussels wants them to be scaled back and privatized. The workers fear for their livelihoods. We'll have to find work elsewhere if the shipyard is closed down. We own barely enough as it is. I've been working in production for 32 years. Who's going to hire me now? They say I should have been dead long ago. While some of the workers don't mind a bit of black humor, others refuse to talk to us. Apparently they've been told not to. It took lengthy negotiations for us to be allowed on the premises. The managers are worried and nervous. Brunan Baranowski is made of sterner stuff. He and his wife helped found the Solidarity Movement here in 1980, which challenged the communist government and ultimately brought it down. His wife and son also work here. Closure would be a disaster. To me, the shipyard is a symbol of the defeat of the communist system. It was here that we reclaimed our dignity. It was here that I became politically active. So the shipyard is more than an employer. It's a piece of our Polish history. Not far away are the offices of the liberal daily newspaper Gazeta Barcha. The staff here is less than sympathetic to the shipbuilders, and they're being brutally honest. Mikołaj Chrzan says the Polish government should have privatized the shipyards a long time ago, and that managers were hired who had no idea what they were doing. From the point of view of the Polish taxpayer, it's good that we're in the EU and that the European Commission is putting the government under pressure to sell the shipyards and put an end to the state subsidies. These days, the way it works is, the state-owned shipyards build ships, and the rest of us, I, my family and my colleagues, have to keep on paying for them. Brunan Baranowski shrugs off the criticism. The shipyard is their livelihood. He's worked there all his life. Arrested twice during martial law in Poland between 1981 and 1983, Baranowski thinks the politicians just want to be rid of the rebellious Gdansk shipyard workers once and for all. If so much money had really been plowed into the shipyards, then we wouldn't need an investor. The shipyard would be able to look after itself. All this misinformation is just a way of turning public opinion against us. They don't want the people on our side if there are protests. And there will be, if they decide to close the Gdansk shipyard. At the moment, conspiracy theories abound in Gdansk. It doesn't help that the important decisions are ultimately made not here, but a long way away in Warsaw and Brussels. Thank <laughs> you.